I think this time around, unlike uh, Oumuamua, which was the first interstellar object where we missed an opportunity to get as much data as possible, in this case, uh, we are very fortunate because this is a bright object. And moreover, it moves in the plane of the planets around the sun. You know, these are coincidences. Uh, the, the fact that it's very massive, a million times more massive than Oumuamua yeah. was, and also in the plane uh, of the planets, that means that we can observe it with all the assets that we have, uh, which are in the plane as well. Uh, and uh, in that sense, uh, I, I think uh, there will be a lot of data collected, enough for us to infer its nature. And the best is yet to come, because in the coming weeks, it will get closest uh, to Earth. And then um, it will be the brightest for us to, and, and also easiest for us to uh, resolve in images from Hubble and Webb. So um, let's just wait and uh, and decide what what the data means in the coming weeks.